was from the Silvis's Media Channel, um, the Freedom Network, off of YouTube. I wanted to give you an update with my mother. This is not a drama family segment, but I'm glad. I hope there isn't more drama. But there probably will be because our family has some of those kinds of people in it. Not saying my mother is one of those, per se. But there are other people that love to stir up things. So, you know, every family, as we know, I'm just going to say generally has some of those kinds of people in it. But I do want to tell you, I have not heard anything from my mother. I, I do love her to death. I just think it's really a shame that she wanted to lose her son over $10. You know, I appreciate her paying the phone and closing the contract out because that was the right thing to do. But like I said, the way she went about it was the wrong way to go about it. She should have went through me and said, look, Michael, I want you to turn the phone off. I'm going to go down to AT&T today and cancel it out. And that's the way she should have done it, but did not go about it that way. And secondly, I haven't heard anything more about her because she's under control by Stuart Garrett, her husband, who I think is really not much of a person anyway. You know, so, you know, whatever. Uh, but the thing is, my mom's going to have to rise above that. And if she really wants to have a relationship with me, she's going to have to make the effort. Because I'm not going to go over there with a man that's hothead and a man that's got guns because he may fire it at me. And, you know, he's got a hot temper. And just, to let, just for the record, because he does. And if other people know him, they know he does have a hot temper. And if anybody said that he didn't, they would be lying because my mother's even told me that he has a hot temper. And he's mad, and you know, matter of fact, you know, we, you know, a matter of fact, you know, the guns should, there shouldn't be any guns in that house because of that reason. Because he may try to fire it on somebody if he gets mad enough. And he's got a temper. He, he even has even tried to fire it on himself. And I've heard him in there, you know, with mom make her feel, you know, part of being dominant and submissive is he's got some problems from his childhood that are really bad. You know, they're very, you know, he was very abused by his parents. And, uh, you know, he's got a lot of anger and a lot of animosity. And I don't say this to get him angry, but I'm just saying this as the truth. He does. And what he needs to do is just go to get a counselor and talk about it. But instead of, you know, but why? He would put a gun to it. I heard him in there one time in the bedroom. They were arguing about something. And he said, I'm going to just shoot myself right now and blow my brains out. If you keep on about this, and this was when I was living over there. And I said, Stuart, you need to put the gun down. And he come out the hallway with the gun, coming to my room, telling me he was going to shoot me. You know, but I was out of the house because I knew he was coming. And, uh, you know, he was he had, a, he, had a, a, a rifle, he had a handgun in his hand. And he was looking for me, but I wasn't even in the house. But I heard him looking around. But the thing is, you know, that was back in 2008. So, you know, it's, you know, he does have a problem with the temper, and he's the kind of person that shouldn't have a gun. I have guns, but he should not have guns because that's the whole reason why. Because he would shoot somebody out of anger if he was pushed enough, and that's a danger to my mother and a danger to other people. It could be a danger to himself as well. So, you know, these are things that need to be really addressed. You know, I love my mother to death. I don't want nothing to happen to her. And I don't want nothing to happen to Stuart, you know, out of something stupid uh, by his temper getting the best of him or something of that nature. So people that are around him at the Rock Church, pray for him, you know, help him, you know. And if and if uh, other people that are like that, because I, I kind of think that Deborah's, Debbie's husband is like that too, you know, you need to go to counseling. You have a hot temper and a short fuse when it comes to patients. That's a controlling issue. That's an insecurity issue. And there are ways to channel that through counseling that can help you with those things, to overcome those things, so you both can become better husbands and better daddies and better all the way around with everybody around you. Because even though you're a victim and you've been victimized, there are other people that also have been victimized by, your, uh, by you abusing them. So there are also two victims. And the victim is, is your wives. So, you need to think about that. Because if you really love somebody, you're not going to get mad at me for saying these things. But you're going to go and get the help that you need so you can become a better person. You know, I think there's still hope for all of us if there's hope in it at all. 
But the thing is, right now, I don't think too much about you, Stuart, because of your past with porn, you know, over the years, and what you and what the recent activity about these girls from Texas and Mineral Virginia calling mom's phone, you know, within you know within the last couple of days. So you know, the thing is, you know, I'm not making this stuff up. You said a lot of stuff about me. I want people to know the person that you are, and what you've done to me was wrong. Was not Christian, and was saying telling people I don't know how to do computer work was wrong. You know, saying I don't know what I'm doing and that I need a license. Well, in case you don't know, Stuart, a certification is a license. That's a specialization. I have three of those. Three of those. How many do you have? Okay, and I can go and do this work out of my home legally, as I have the education. I also went to school for it. Okay, I also got a diploma from high school. So what I'm trying to tell you is, you don't go around telling people about and ruin my business. You know, just because you're not making much, you want to ruin it for me. You don't do that. If you are a man, and if you are a good man and a godly man, you wouldn't spread deception and gossip like that around in the neighborhood, in where you work, people at churches. And even at the rock, you wouldn't do that because real true men that are golly don't do those kinds of foolish things. And if anyone else is doing that kind of stuff, they need to stop. So I'm going to, I've been praying for you and mom, and I will continue to pray for you. But you, the only way that you're going to get help is if you go and take the step and initiative to help yourself. Stop watching that porn, meaning the DVDs you have in that living room. Meaning a secret stash you got. I seen it over there when I was over there a week ago. Visiting my mother. You tell people you're not watching the porn. You want people to believe it. I believe it. But when I saw that last week, you got to admit it made me angry. So you have to understand, I have a right to be angry. Because you lied to me. And my mom's lying. Because she knows you're watching it too. She's seen, she's heard you watching it. I know you're watching it because I've seen the DVDs in there by the TV, by the DVD player. Probably they've been removed now, so if people go in there to look. You probably removed it because you've seen that video. It's being slick, so nobody thinks, oh, uh, you know, you won't get caught in your act. But listen, you got to stop watching that porn. You got to stop doing it. If you're doing it, you cannot be a soldier. And you got to stop doing it. Don't tell people or act like you're not to be slick. And sneaky, because God knows what you're doing. And believe me, he knows who you really are. And I know who you really are. So stop trying to sneak and trying to divert things onto other people to make you look better when you have issues in your life that are more oppressing than the issues of other people that are around you that need to be addressed first. And that's what you need to do of a course of action. Go get help, get counseling, and go get intervention, because you can't do this yourself. So this is... Me telling you this stuff as a son, but not out of revenge, but as a way of hope for you and for my mother and for the future of your marriage. If you don't want to do this, then you probably will all get divorced here in the next six months to a year, which I hope not to see or want, because that would really hurt my mother very deeply. If that really matters to you or you care about that, steward. You won't be mad at this video. You'll take the action. You'll go get the help that you need. And you'll take the right action. And you'll go get the help that you longly need it. But the only way you're going to get over this addiction is through really going through the steps to really overcome it. And you can't do it without the right attitude and with the right spiritual foundation and the right support systems in place. You have my mother. You have me. There's a two support systems, and you also have the, your members at church at The Rock. So you need to network, and you need to stop doing this stuff. Stop spreading stuff about me around the neighborhood and around town and everywhere you go. I don't spread stuff about you except for what you did right now because you're telling people that you're not doing these things, and you really still are, and that's a lie, and that's a sham, and you might be able to fool people, but you can't fool Christ. You can't fool Jesus Christ, the Lord. So stop lying. 
because you're only going to you're going to be the biggest fool in the long run because people are going to find out the truth because remember the truth always comes out over time so please remember this and please please get help this is my tip for the day to help the family to heal to get better I'm Michael DeSilvis from New Hunter Church of Christ. I hope this message helps those else who are else in this situation that may be similar to this that you just heard. And I'll see you on Saturday with another update.